Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at things like the prob probability generating function and the moment generating function of discrete random variables. In this instance what we're asked to do is to show that the probability generating function for a binomial distribution with parameters n and p is given as follows. g of x t equals 1 minus p plus p t to the power of, all to the power of n. Okay, in outline in brackets. And deduce the moment generation generating function from that. So there's two key definitions for both parts of the question. The first part is the probability generating function and down below we have the moment generating function down here. Okay so essentially what we have to do here is it's essentially treating it as a discrete random variable. Okay z to the power of x. The expected value is z to the power of x. Actually, I'll just sort of, because we're working in terms of t up there, I'll just change that to t. That's just uh, the notes, essentially. But just to make life easy on ourselves, it is the expected value of t to the power of x. Okay? Probability, probability of x by t to the power of x. Okay? So essentially we're, we're going to just treat it like a discrete random variable with a, just a bit of a twist. Okay, so there it is. The PGF is the expected value of t to the power of x. So here we have t to the power of x and the probability of x equals each particular value there. Okay, so what we're going to do here is actually just uh, split it up into two. Here we have t to the power of x and this is the probability mass function for a binomial distribution here. So this is what this comes down from here. Okay, so we're actually going to sort of split it out and call you know use the probability mass function for a binomial random variable. Now the thing is here that we can sort of try and um, tidy things up as much as possible. So here we have t to the power of x and p to the power of x. So t to the power of x times p to the power of x is essentially, we can rewrite that as pt to the power of x. So that's where we got there. And that is, we have n minus p to times n minus x there. And we have the binomial coefficient there. And there we use the binomial theorem to re-express it as that. Okay, so that's the binomial formula there. Okay, now the thing is, this sort of stuff pops up a lot, particularly in these sort of definitions relating to the binomial distribution. So just almost expect it to this to come up somewhere. You should, like when you're doing this sort of level of mathematics uh, and statistics, stuff like the binomial formulas that comes into play quite a lot. So just be prepared to use them. Okay, so essentially this is how we go from um, pt times uh, n minus uh, one minus p sorry p t to the power of x times one minus p to the power n minus x. That's how we sort of um, go. We use this part formula here just to get to here. Okay, and that's how we end up down here. So essentially, the, the key thing there really is, apart from the definitions, is just sort of uh, anticipating the binomial expansion there, that binomial distribution, or binomial theorem. Now, we're asked also for the uh, moment generating function, the MGF, and that's a very straightforward job in this instance. Essentially, what we have to do here is, in this instance, we're asked for to find the expected value of t to the power of x, here we're just asked for the expected value of e t to the power of x. Okay. e to the power of t to the power of x. So essentially what we can do there is just re replace t by e to the power of t. And that's the job done. In that instance, that's actually a very straightforward sub substitution. So that's it. That is the binomial uh, distribution and how to calculate the probability generating function and the probability, sorry, the moment generating function. We'll leave it there.